so for today's YouTube video, I'm going to be doing trying to create a bullet journal and I've really been wanting to create a bullet journal because I feel like it's a real creative thing to do and it's really occupying to do as well um because it, it is like it will take a lot of time to do it um but i'm gonna be doing it for the month of june which is coming up on monday and i love when the month starts on monday because then you're just productive i feel like i'm more productive if the month starts on a monday for some reason but yeah i'm really excited to see this video because i'm just gonna bring up my creative side i can i'm not an artiste I did not know how to do anything, but I just love designing things, even though I'm the worst ever. And this could give you guys some ideas, though. And anyways, this could give you guys some good ideas to do your own bullet journal and inspire you guys to do your own things. And these are occupying to your home. So I will show you guys the things that I'm going to be using for my bullet journal, but you can use just a random copy, but I'm going to be making a homemade bullet journal. So around the main things that you will just be needing is I have some string. And I have a bunch of different like colors, markers to do my drawing, and just some markers. And then I have a bunch of paper, some tape, some glue, and some gel to add on. For my aesthetic, I'm not really too sure. I was trying to like retro, a, a retro kind of like um, cafe kind of thing, but. I don't know yet. I might add some flowers. I don't know what my aesthetic is going to be. You guys can do any aesthetic you want. It doesn't really have to be many designs on it. You can probably just want to do like a plain one. But I'm going to be doing an aesthetic one. I want to do kind of like a retro one. But at the same time it's really hard. So I might just do like some sunflowers, some scrunchies. But I have it on my paper lined out. I just have this purple cardboard paper. And then I have this hard paper. And each it's just going the normal to purple normal to purple in a pattern up so we're going to be starting off on the front of our journal so i'm going to be titling this june what i'm going to be doing is sketching out like my design and of course i have to write out june so i'm going to write out june i want to sort of do it in like at the front part of it i want it to be like a retro style the way the writing is i'll try to do that but if it changes it's fine and then i still want to do like, some scrunchies or some bees or something around just to make it look real summery and nice because june is actually my favorite month nearly of the year because it's just when the nights are really bright and it's just a really happy month because even though like even if you're stuck inside or whatever the sun is out and that just makes me one thing that makes me really happy so i'm gonna be doing the first then I'm going to add some bees. I'm going to do like nice retro style of writing as well. So I'm going to do some time lapse of that um, as well. I'm going to show you guys as well in between of the time lapse. Head on. small bit of it but I'm gonna say it didn't really turn out the way I wanted to <laughs> um you're probably laughing at home or wherever you are watching this because I'm not an artist but I basically just did like a blue outline and then on like the end I done fully blue and then it's like out outline and like the rest of it and then I'm doing like that color pink in like the inside of it so I'm gonna try to finish this up in a second I just need to go inside the U and the E and then I'll show you guys what I'm going to be adding on to make it look a bit more better and the designs on the outside which is a very, you know, this will add a bit more to get the look of, away from the this. So guys, I'm very, sorry for the, the background noise but I have just finished and I'm going to add a little bees for the Guys, another thing that I do want to add to the front of the cover is butterflies because Butterflies is like, I don't know, it's like my favourite emoji, like the purplish butterfly I've had on the screen down here. Um, but that's like my favourite emoji and then I just want to try to draw a little butterfly on it as well with the bee. Um, I'm going to do like different other designs as well. But these are like ones I like 100% want to show you guys. Guys, also for going over things, I'm also using this pen, this tiger pen and it's um, a 0.4mm and this is it i'm just gonna be using this so i'm gonna finish it like the main design i did a few gaps because i know further on i will think of more so i'm gonna do an up close like thing of like the front page of it so guys the next thing up is a quote and i always like have a quote in like my diary or something to cheer me up 
for during the week because if like you know you're just feeling a bit down and you want to look at something I always like to look at quotes once I start my week off and start my weekly plan out one thing I like to add in is a quote so my quote for this week is good things are coming and I really like this quote because even if you're feeling down and it's not this the best day there are good things like coming in the future it's a good thing to have so I'm going to start this on one of my normal pieces of paper and write my quote Head on. looks horrible and it's probably as backwards I'm not too sure but it says good days are coming and then like a little banner it didn't take out the way I wanted it because I literally wasted three pieces of paper which is so annoying but what I'm going to be using is the, just the top model pens to do decorations around them and just some pop of colour to add to the cup. So guys I've just finished up the little quote page and I'm going to show you guys it and I didn't really buy too many designs I just did like more splashes. This is it and I just have good days are coming on it and then it's a little banner and then all the little splashes I did some like stars as well and then these random two stars and like a little smiley face with, like just some butterflies and some love hearts and I think it's really cute. Hey guys and welcome back. So basically it's the next day. I'm in new clothes, have crazy looking hair, I'm really sorry about that. But yesterday I had to go on a walk with my family, so I had to cut it up for the short. But as you see I have like the gym part done and the quote done. And now what I want to move on to is like my my habit part of like my sorry, it's on my side, it's a bit windy. Um of the habits I wanna get to, so my habit. I forget the name of it, it'll be on the screen. Um, so my basically the habit section though and I have habits on like my doing workouts every day, eating healthy, um, and then like stuff that I don't wanna do, like and like you know, like stuff planned out like that, like habits I wanna have and bad habits I wanna get rid of basically. So guys, I have like the little title bit done and I done like one with marker and then some over and this is like it's backwards which is super annoying. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's backwards on camera, but I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's why I do not. I just wrote habits in pink and then habits in like a black marker over it, a black like pen. And yeah, that's what I've done for that. And I'm going to like box it out in squares. I'm just going to go three. I might just do three times three because there's not really much. I'm just going to do three times three. So guys, I am back and I've just done the habit page. And I just have all the habits down here and I just decorated with some stars around it and then just some like little dots to match like the little lines that I done underneath. And next what I'm gonna do is my workout routine and I'm gonna do it on one of the white pages and if you do want to see a video of my workout routine comment down below and I can do that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do on this sheet and I'm not really sure on what way I'm gonna decorate it first. I try two different banners, but I'm gonna have to try to get that off and do it this way because I literally wasted about five pages yesterday. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now is my workout routine and I'm gonna think of ways to decorate. So guys, um I've just finished the design and like the whole plan out of my workout. This actually took so long because I actually have a lot written down. Usually I do my workout on Monday through Friday, but I I really want to do it on the weekends. So I don't know what days, I think I might do it for the whole week, but you do have to take a break from your workout um, for a day. So I might like take a break even on Sundays and have a break on Sundays and then do it the whole way through. I'm not like really too sure, but like it's only one day when I'm taking a break though. Um, so this is my whole workout plan. I have um, ab workout number one and then I have stretches slash yoga and then i have an ab workout number two and then i have just like um just like random ones put in there and um yeah that's basically what i'm doing if you want to see a workout routine make sure to comment down below but yeah and then i just did like the bow and arrow pointing out each side and then workout routine in the middle wrote down so that's that done and i don't know whether to decorate around it i'm not too sure but what i'm going to be doing now is just drawing like little dots and then how many days is in that month i'm gonna be ticking off how many days i'm at to been doing so i know how many days i'm at to doing like during the week so that's what i'm gonna do now and i'm gonna do the circles and each day i do the workout i get to take it off and i want to build it up so hey guys i'm back and i'm in new clothes and stuff because it's the next day again 
Um, so basically I have what I'm going to be eating done. So I have a week planned out because I'll be eating the same thing each week. Um, so I have like this, this little design here. It didn't turn out the way I wanted to but I just used it in anyways. So I have Monday through to Friday of what I'm going to be eating. And go make sure you go and check out what I eat in a day link down in the description. Um, and then I have this little sign here and it's meant like a little retro sign from like a restaurant. And then I have like gratitude written on it. Um, and basically it's like black like checkered kind of black and then it has gratitude right written in it and then it like it's like cut off kind of because it's like the black and it's, i think it's really cool but then each um monday through to sunday i have um like gratitude like what i'm thankful for for that day and because i don't, I don't have each going across because Monday on the second month I'm just going to write beside it so it's just going to go across and across and across for the whole month so that's what I have so far done um and what next is my last thing I'm going to be doing is a calendar and basically my calendar I'm trying to do it like retro style but I'm not too sure but it's going to turn out like that way so I'm not really sure 100% what I'm going to be doing yet for it but I'm going to have a look up on the internet as well and I'm going to see what I'm going to be picking so guys and now I've done the calendar and this is the way I decorate like the top so you can kind of see it I did like a weird I forget the name of the shape but you can kind of see it and it says calendar up here and then June down here with some grey little um, dots and then for the out thing it's green and then I did a little colour pattern again with the grey, pink and blue and I just have each week planned off because there's four weeks in June so I have it all planned off and then each day if I want to do something each day I don't know anything yet but each day I can add things to it that I want to do or like goals or something but I don't really know what I'm going to be putting on that yet but um, I'm pretty sure that's all that I have to do. <laughs> So guys, and now what I'm doing is I'm punching the holes in it to like tie the string. I also have string and I have a hole puncher here. I didn't even know we had one. I was going to get my mom to do it with pencils. Okay, but I think I just do this. Please let it work. Oh, it worked. So that's it. And it's just hold in here. I'm going to do some time lapse probably of me doing it if I have enough storage. And I did three at a time there, but... I don't know how many I'm gonna be doing at a time. But yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of these and I'll see you guys. So I've just punched all the holes and all of the pieces as you've seen is in the time lapse. But they're not all straight. I really don't know how, but I'm gonna have to try to like fix it on up with them i might have to do it on the opposite side as well because i do not know what i can i have all the hole punches in and now i have string and i'm going to start putting the string um through i just have to do this twice because there's only two holes to do it through and then i will be finishing i'll update guys guys this is the finished product i have like the ribbon here it doesn't really look that nice then i have like the june starter and then these pages are blank and i just have like the little quote and then i have the what I eat and then I have the there's more like what I eat there and then there's like the little gratitude one and then I have the little like habits that I want to keep up and then I have my workout routine and then I have my calendar so guys that is all for this video and i'm really sorry for the bad angles in this video but yeah that's all for this video if you did enjoy this video please make sure you give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below make sure to comment down below any other video ideas you do want to see and make sure to go and check out my recent video which is linked down in the description and go and check out my tiktoks at the end of the video and link down in the description and thank you so much for watching this video and peace out